Hello the there, neighborinos. Don't have too much news for you tonight. Mainly game releases and PS5 news. Okay, so game releases broken down into four categories. Well, mainly just two. You got a couple for the Oculus and a couple for the PlayStation VR. The ones for the, for the Oculus are Ratchet and X and Vader Immortal. There's not a whole lot I can say about Vader Immortal, except if you've been following the news at all, uh, this one is confirmed to come out for both the Rift and the Quest. This one is special because this one is it's framed to be like an experience, but well, it, it's going to be more of a game than an experience. It, it's a long story, but as far as that goes, this one is set in the Star Wars universe, so if, if you like Star Wars, great. If you hate it, then, well, you hate it. And then the other one is Ratchet NX. This one is coming out purely for the quest, the Oculus quest, I mean... And this one is, well, judging by the trailer, this one is intended to be more along the lines of a, a two-party racquetball and, and or breakout. I, I'm not really sure what breakout is, but you're essentially playing something like racquetball against... It, it doesn't even have to be inside a closed surface, like in, inside a building or anything. You can do this outside, so long as you have another person to play it with. It, it's possible there will be an AI or something that you can match up with against in the event that you don't have a second person to play the game with. This one is nice to have on the quest because it's going to be set up as more of it, because the quest is a standalone system and doesn't have any wires attached to it, Ratchet, Bo Ratchet and X makes an excellent title for this. And the other part of tonight's release, game release news, belongs to the esteemed order of Blood and Truth and Angry Birds. Now, Blood and Truth, as I'm sure you guys know by now, is a single-player, first-person shooter. Personally, I am in the mood for a good single-player shooter, and this just may fill that hole. That very deep hole in my gut that longs to shoot people in the stomach. And a few in the head. But, yeah, in case... You don't really feel like dealing with a mature rating. There's also Angry Birds, which is apparently also launching on the PlayStation VR. This one is slightly different than the than the birds you're probably used to. And this one, you're actually holding and controlling the slingshot and aiming through it rather than looking from the side. So, that, that said, you'll be holding your slingshot, trying to aim, and moving it all around the screen. Probably using a single move controller or something. And you'll be trying to knock down the pig blocks or, or whatever. And then... Yeah, that's about all there is for PlayStation-related releases. And the last piece of the news is the one that I am truly, truly thankful for. There were finally leaks about the PlayStation 5's development stats and hardware and launch date and all that stuff. Okay, so it is expected to launch either March or November of next year, 2020. And, however, 
the most likely thing is that they would try to launch it for March, and then that way they could try to sneak in the Black Friday sale and try to push out as many of the PS4s as possible. Because in whenever they launch a new system, whether it was the PS4 or the 3, they, they tried to get rid of the previous system, tried to push out old units using the Black Friday sale. And with the with the release of the PlayStation 5 at a $500 price point, mind you, they are likely going to try to push out those PS4s and PS4 Pros as much as possible. One of the other things we can look forward to it when it as it regards this system is the 14 teraflops of graphical power. Which is going to be great because it's going to it's going to render everything using ray tracing. And on top of that, a custom 7 nanometer Nvidia CPU and the, another custom 7 nanometer GPU are going to be installed on this thing. Both of which are going to be massively important when you're when you're trying to deal with something as powerful as this. We we do know that it's going to be backwards compatible as have the rumors stated. That said, it's going to be able to play at least your PlayStation 4 titles. So your best bet would be to save your money on the PlayStation 4 and on that Black Friday sale that I mentioned earlier and try to just save up, try to, try to get the, the $500 for the system. And then that way, you'll still be able to still get all, all your PS4 games at a pawn shop or however you get your, your budgeted games. And then on top of that, you can still get your PlayStation 5, which are going to include Last of Us Part 2. And there was one other that I saw. But I can't remember what it was right now. So, Last of Us Part 2 is the one you can look forward to to come out on PlayStation 5. And, of course, this one is going to come with VR capability. Now, as I've touched on previously, the PlayStation VR 2 likely will launch at around the same time. So, that said, be ready for higher power. Another thing that's been touched on in, in this development leak is that it, it is capable of not just 4K upscaling, but 8K as well. So, this one... <laughs> I, I know it won't be in the same generation anymore, but it, it that still blows the Xbox One X way out of the water. Because that was one of the biggest selling points of the One X. Was the, the 4K upscaling. Next up, what we can look forward to is 24 gigabytes of GDDR6 RAM and 4 gigabytes of DDR4 for the operating system. The DDR, the GDDR6 re refers to the the graphical memory, I believe, whereas the DDR4 is going to is going to follow that the processor memory, I, I think. I think that's how that works. And this one is going to come with a two terabyte drive rather than the one that the PS4 Pro lost with. Um, and, ooh, now this is a nice touch. The very last line on here says that it is going that the new controller is going to have a camera for PlayStation for the new PlayStation VR. Uh, 
And as and five hundred dollars is is a hefty price tag, but this article claims that there's going to be a hundred dollar loss on each console sold. So they're selling at a loss on this console in order to get us a decent sellable price. So that said, I don't know about you, but I am looking forward to saving all of that thousand dollars or whatever it's going to take for the new PlayStation VR and the PlayStation 5. And I believe that's a good place to end the video. If you guys liked it, let me know. If you hated it, let me know. And as always, don't forget to tell me how I'm a horrible person for giving you all this news. Ta-ta for now.